Hello! Hello! We're back on the road, it's a bank holiday weekend. We just set off, we're about to hit all the traffic <laughs> on a bank holiday Friday. And I think I can't have it in front of us in better days. arrived on site we're pitched up and special announcement there's no pasta tonight <gasps> what is this all about Shock we horror. are going out i'm in a mood because i've forgotten my jumper i'm having to go out in the same clothes i have got other clothes i just didn't bring any more going out clothes so we're going out like this no pasta no pasta no pasta tonight. but we have got Molly. and we have got a windbreak oh yeah wind breaks up there's only a there's only a small disagreement, minor altercation. Let's go to the pub. <laughs> arrived at the destination for tea is the pub uh, we booked Yay. ahead i'll talk about it tomorrow but it's the old hall in just about well 15 minute walk from the campsite yeah, so really good we're going to enjoy and we're bang on time we booked so it for eight good. and it's one minute to eight <laughs> He did it. Oh, it's fine, thank you. Apart from the blinding afterwards. Yeah. It's very good, wasn't it? It was very nice, yes. Really enjoyed it, like a proper traditional pub. A very, very good, good old fashioned pub. Chocolate type cup place. chips, gallon. Oh, it was well good. Right, I'm going to walk back now in the dark. Not too far. Is it well? Good, let's go. Stop making shadow puppets with the dog. Put the torch on the path so we can see where we go. The dog. Seven o'clock in the morning. Come on, morning. Just coming for a walk. It's nice. There's a few people out with their dogs. And this dog walk, which is just the path we took last night down into the village. Might just want to wander around and sniff. It's really nice. And the campsite is just up there. You can see the entrance. So nice early start. We're going to skip them today. Good morning. morning! We are uh, on our way to Skipton. We got up early, it's like 8.50 or something in the morning. Earliest Caroline's ever been up. Somebody needs to tell them we're on our holidays. And we're heading to Skipton on the bus. <coughs> Hope. We don't know where the bus stop is, there's no sign. So I'm waiting on one side of the road and Caroline's waiting on the other, just in case. Oh, and in true um, Ian Brown spirit, we are um, like 20 minutes early for the bus. Oh, we have to make sure we catch it. If not, it's a three hour walk. So um, anyway, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll let you know how we get on. Uh, but we're heading into Skipton on the bus. Uh, we're going to go to the castle, hopefully, and Molly's with us, so we'll see how we get on. Hopefully dogs are allowed on the bus as well, we didn't check that. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's they are. Pretty dog friendly, doesn't it? Yeah, so far. You wanna be my love. Care Bear, puffy 
arrived in Skipton, as you've probably just seen from the montage of uh, markets. Loads of little stalls. Uh, keep, keep, mm, we've got some epic scones. Yeah, very, very impressed we're with about Skipton. This big. Massive. And they were like three for fiver. So anyway, we're in Skipton. This was a viewer recommendation. Um, and you can actually park your motor right in Skipton in the centre for three nights, but we needed electricity for a reason. So we had to stay on a campsite. We managed to stay on the campsite, which is great. So we're going to explore Skipton. We're actually in the castle now. So we've just got, uh, we've paid to get in. It's £12 per person. I think it's £10 if you book online in advance. We £11 won't... pounds if you're over 65. Yes. We same. are not over 65. <laughs> Yet. Um, and then we've got a guide to walk around self-guided. So that's cool. Dogs are allowed in as well, which is great. Holly's down here. So we're going to have a self-guided tour around the castle and then to its back. It looks fantastic. Yeah. Really impressive. She means that. She's not being sarcastic. <laughs> Yeah, really impressive. I don't mean it. How rude. <laughs> it does look impressive. I'm sorry if I didn't say that with great feeling. <laughs> no sarcasm intended. Sorry, Skipton Castle. Let's we'll never... explore it before we get chucked out. I'll never get a job presenting, will I? <laughs> Chase the ball out there. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> you chase the ball outside. The tree's from 1659, nearly as old as Ian. You found a wine rack? Best, best room of the uh, castle, beer and wine for supper. <laughs> that is a big wine rack. Just like yours at home. That's right. Empty. Just as empty as mine. <laughs> Hang on. I Reading this sign. Yeah. Only the, wine, only the nobility drink wine, you peasants drink beer. <laughs> so rude. Okay, I'm happily be a peasant. It doesn't say peasants, it's servants and soldiers. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> to keep you warm in the winter. It is it's cold today, actually. It's cold. Do you need wine? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> sheltering in the dog friendly area the dogs are allowed inside dogs are not allowed in the cafe in the shop but everywhere else so we've had a cup of tea and it started to rain so we're just sheltering in here aren't we from the yeah. cold we're going to go buy some jumpers and coats for this beautiful August by the holiday <laughs> <laughs> don't know if you can see on the camera but you can see the rain coming in towards us I think we're going to have to stay sheltered for a little bit longer This is the best spa I've ever been to. It's got four butchers inside and a baker's, so I've literally just been sitting in the background, that's me. Um, get some, some supplies to take back. I could have bought like the whole shop. Butchers is fresh, proper fresh butchers coming inside the spa. Hi. 
How good is that spot? It's the best shot ever. So good. So we're back from Skipton. Tired now. We're lying down, eating. Biggest chocolate clair ever looked. It's my chocolate clair. It was ginormous. It's too big for the plate. From that wonderful spa shop. Yeah. So it's going to chill now. Relax, have something to eat. All the millions of things we bought from the spa shop. <laughs> <laughs> go to bed. Let me get up early again tomorrow. Go walking. Happy with that? Yeah, works for me. <laughs> what are you eating? Nothing. Well, I don't. I don't like cake. <laughs> <laughs> she just had that massive scone. I don't have that massive scone. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. I'm done now. Right. Night. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. So we are off to Grassington now. Yes. So we're going to go and explore Grassington or Darabi, as Caroline calls it. Yes. Because it's where they film all the creatures, great and small. We have been there before. Yes, you may recall from our previous video, but I love it so much. They came again, so we skipped in obviously yesterday <coughs> and Grassington today. So we're going to go in and try and get some breakfast. Hopefully, it's not too late. A bit of a lie in this morning, and then we're going to go and explore Grassington and do some walking as well, just to please Molly, so everyone's happy. Yeah, something for everybody. And I'm sure we can find a local beer too. Lion, breakfast, walk. Beer, obviously. <laughs> Beekeeper. <laughs> Hello. Creatures great and small. Yay! This is why Caroline wanted to come. Siegfried's house. There behind. The vets. That's the vets. Looks very different, doesn't it? How they've transformed it. They yeah. hide that alarm, they hide everything at the front, they turn it into a very impressive period house. And then the pub they go to is over there. We'll be checking it out, no doubt. It's very good, isn't it? It is. So we just went to that place up there, no re relevance to uh Down the corner. Or creatures great and small, that's where we had our breakfast. It was really tasty. That was really good. Really one good. Recommend that one, so the corner far. house. Yeah, very popular. It was um, highly recommended on Dog the friendly. interweb. interweb. <laughs> information and they've given us a map haven't they for the walk they have. which is a walk just a circular walk around Grassington so it takes about 30 minutes nice walk but we've bought a map as well we're going to carry on aren't we so we're going to do we part are. of this walk we've done this bit already we're starting here and we'll walk down along by the river and then we're going to carry up like that way off the map in our own little book that we've bought we might jog it because it is so cold <laughs> I know I'm moaning but it is so so it's cold it's August how do you expect it's bank holiday the weather's going to be great Molly's enjoying it aren't you Molly not too hot for you should we go for a walk Let's go. Are you? Are you trying to go for a swim? Oh yeah. Can't go in there, it's too fast. Even if I paid her a million pounds. Um, would you swim in there? Not a chance. For a million pounds? A million pounds in a wetsuit, it's fine. No, just in your swimming costume. No. Perfect weather for ducks. Perfect weather for ducks. Isn't it Caroline? <laughs> <laughs> Freedom!
coat. A raincoat. So as you can probably see that the uh, rain has come in, so we are going to head back. We did plan to go on a big walk up the river this way, but poor Caroline. <laughs> she doesn't like the outdoors. I do like the outdoors. I just didn't think it was going to be so cold. And she's not equipped for the rain very well. I've we got a raincoat to... and I've got an umbrella, but... It's not a raincoat, it's maybe cheese. We need, to, we need to try and get Caroline some better outdoor clothes and then we're good to go. But also it's very cold, yeah, so... We're going to head back and have a nice cosy afternoon in the van. All I want the heating on is that good. Back. We are back. Get the, the keys. keys. <laughs> uh -uh, hurry up. <laughs> the keys. I think the dog's like what she's doing. He was prepared this before. Massive. There we go. Come on, Red Riding Hood. Let's get inside. <laughs> Hands don't work, they're too cold. So I've picked up four local beers, two from Black Sheep Brewery, which is in Masson, and I've also got Timothy Taylor's Landlord, which is a very nice beer, very well known, travels well. This is from Keithley, which is not far at all down the road. Pale Ale 4.2, very nice. This one looks really nice. I really like the Chinook um, at the moment in the terms of the hops. Looks really nice. So 4.5, and this is a New World Hops Pale Ale. And the brewery, if I look closely, is in Massam, which is Dixon's Brewery. So well-known brewery, again, a big one, but still brewed locally in the area, which is great because a lot, so many have been bought up. And then next door neighbours, Black Sheep. If you don't know the story, Google it. It's really interesting. This one is this Fresh Session IPA Respire, which looks really nice. 4% obviously brewed in Massam. So I'm looking forward to that one, especially. And this one's just a standard Black Sheep Ale, which is really nice as well. You did a chocolate orange one I've had before, which is really nice. But they haven't got that. So I'll try this one too. Um, so anyway, I'll come back to you, let you know what I think of these two because I've tried that one before, I've tried that one before, well known. These two I haven't tried. So I've tried this one, it's nice, but it's not quite as hoppy as I was hoping for, not quite enough flavour in it. Um, so it's quite refreshing, light, but not quite as flavoursome as I wanted. Yeah. That's better. Fresh Session IPA, 4%. Very nice indeed. That's the one. I would buy more of. Okay, so for tea tonight, we're not going out because it's raining still. You can probably see outside the window. Not very nice. So I've well, decided to buy some articles to prepare tea. So I'm going to make tea for Caroline. So freshly prepped veg, because I'm too lazy to do it myself. Uh, roast beef slices, because I don't want to cook roast beef. Caroline's having a cheese onion slice and some fresh potatoes. And I'm going to actually boil and then I'm going to do um, with in, in the Ridge Monkey, make them more like roast potatoes with some oil. Also, we've got Yorkshire puddings. In the meantime, Caroline is just sat down there with Molly, relaxing. Lounging. Lounging. Lounging, I am lounging. All those beers you're drinking as well. <laughs> do you need to top up? Wine. Obviously. <laughs> and here's one I made earlier. This is the Omnia. I've lined it ready for the Yorkshire puddings. Put the done. Maybe I should have done this before I'd had a beer. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> right, there we go. Caroline has gone to walk Molly and give her a tea. So I've set the table. This is my type of dinner. Uh, lazy beef, <laughs> wine, down this end. Potatoes boiling away. Nice, sorry about steam. Omnia, ready for the Yorkshire puddings. And then gravy in our special cups. We got, I put gravy granules in there. Mr. Onion gravy, I'm gonna make it in there, keep it warm and use that as a serving thing for the gravy. Wicked. Chef's beer as well. So Molly and I are on recycling duty. Just there, opposite the entrance. And we are just going to explore the other dog walk at the other side of the campsite. bunnies over the wall so Molly can't quite see them. Is this the way back Mol? 
Come on then. The Omnia is the perfect size for cooking six Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire puddings. Nice size. It's got great with gravy. It's dinner time. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Wintry dinner. <laughs> First roast deer in the van. Look at that. <laughs> We've got roast beef, veg, potatoes done two ways. I don't know how I did them two ways. I made it up. Yorkshire puddings. And Caroline's got the same with the cheese and onion bacon. Yeah, and cheese you've and... done a cracking job, I must oh, say. And, and just check out how he's keeping the gravy warm. Yeah, see this special you've got, we've got. It's great, it's got some gravy. Can't have gravy with your Yorkshire puddings. Ooh, looks nice and thick. Genius. Lovely. Right, let's eat. Bon appetit. Whoa. How was it? Mmm. Good. Ah, wicked. That's good. Two clean plates, just cleaner than mine. I'm impressed. Mmm. That you like it. Me too. It. I'm but... impressed all these years you pretend you can't cook. <laughs> It wasn't really cooking, was it? I would have done the roast beef, right? I would have done it in the in the barbecue. I would have slow cooked it in the Weber. Um, well, you'd have been out there on your own. <laughs> I know, that's what I thought. So I'd just buy a packet for three quid. And Even eat Molly that. didn't want to be outside. I know, yeah. <laughs> that was proper Yorkshire weather. But it was nice. We had a nice cosy afternoon. Mm. Watched some rubbish telly and some tea and cake. And now we've had that, it's uh, probably time to switch off and uh, finish the crown. Mm, okay. So good night. Good night. <laughs> good morning, Molly. Not happy, are you? It's raining. No walk. Gonna explore the campsite instead. Come on then, show everyone the campsite. She gets all the glamorous jobs. Recycling. Rubbish and recycling. I did this yesterday as well, didn't I? This is becoming a thing. Oh yeah, good. Giving you jobs to do. It's great. Anyway. We are not going to go for a walk today. We it's are... just raining again. Yeah. It's raining. This is not the weather I ordered. But we're going to go and make the most of it and have a look around the campsite. Take Molly for a quick walk before we head off. Um, we were planning to go into Graston again, but the rain was heavy this morning, so we abandoned it and had a nice lazy morning. Tidy in the van. Tidy in the van. Dry in the van. <laughs> <laughs> Putting away all of the wet stuff. But um, it's all part of the God, fun. She's least, fun, isn't is... she? <laughs> <laughs> so there's a van on the pitch. We're on pitch number. What was it? 94. 94, right at the bottom. I think we've shown before, but the dog walk is just down there where that caravan is, just there, right at the bottom. That's the dog walk on the way through to Grassington. <laughs> this is the main toilet block. You can see it's massive in a really traditional Yorkshire stone, which makes it look nice. And then you've got motor service point just here as well. This is the only toilet block on the site, but it's right in the middle. So you can see. It's a good location for the site. That's not even funny. All good? All good. Recycling done, campsite tour done, rain on. Actually, there's a dog. Actually, handy to know they have a late night arrival slot here. But it looks like there's four electric points for it. That Must be popular. Cool. It's quite hard to get to. And then, and just outside, so you go along a, a lane, and then as you turn in, there's another camp. Well, it's not a campsite. I think it's like a holiday park. Yeah, we didn't explore that, did we? So, and there's um, a pub there as well. Yes, pub. Oh, hang on. Left them all over the cattle grid. Cattle grid. <coughs> oh yeah, cattle grid. Um, there's a duck pond and some tents at camping. So you, there's no tents allowed here, but if you did know people that wanted to come and have tents, you could probably stay at the one next door. So I'll make sure Molly doesn't fall through the cattle grid. So that's it from Yorkshire again. <laughs> Did you do the accent? No, I did it by mistake. <laughs> you did the accent, didn't you? It's been a brilliant trip, despite the weather. We knew it was going to rain, so we decided to come anyway. But I think York is very well set up for it. Dogs are allowed everywhere, yeah. every place we're into. It does make a massive difference Yeah, if you've got a dog. If you've got a dog, yeah. Absolutely loved um, Skipton, so thank you very much for the recommendation yes, from the viewers of Suggesty Skipton. Really enjoyed that. It was just lovely to spend the day, well, obviously visit the castle, but then wandering in all the little shops and pubs and eateries and stuff. We had a really nice relaxing day. It's 20 minutes on the bus from Fresh Field. Field fresh fresh field. field. Yeah, so you can walk down to. So that was really nice. And then yesterday in Grassington was lovely as well. Oh, that's we my favourite place. I love Grassington. Yeah. Or Darby. Darby, as it's called in the old creatures, great and small. And then, yes, yesterday afternoon was really good. We just sat and relaxed in the van and chilled out and yeah, read. We had, had a nice, uh, nice walk. It would have uh, been nicer to yeah. be, be longer, but. Um, 
back to work, unfortunately. And we didn't realise till we checked out today to the van back next to us was a lovely couple from Stranra, Alistair and Fiona, who came and said hello. They watch our channel, so hi. We'll put a picture up now so you can see. It's very nice to meet you. And we love it when viewers come and say hello. And all our viewers seem to be so nice as well. We're they very are. lucky. They yeah. are. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.